Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, I have some kits to do something like this, okay? For people who want to do um, a bit of um, crazy patchwork, I've decided I'll put a get together some kits for you, okay? The only thing I'm not going to include at this moment, at this time, is the thread and the ribbon. But if you, t if I'm going to not sell these in my Etsy, I'm going to sell these through, uh, if you email me, because if I, I don't want to put too high a price on them really, and Etsy will take a bit of me, <laughs> then I'll be left with no money, you see, so, plus I might have to charge a little bit extra for overseas shipping, that's the only thing too, okay? Um, I, th I don't think it's going to cost that much, you know, probably $5 for Australia, maybe 12 something maybe for America, but I will look into that when, I, when you, you let me know what you want, you know, if you want one and if you, where your address is and then I can find out the shipping, but I don't imagine that it's going to be that much more really, okay? Um, I, I really don't because they're not that heavy but anyway so here's um here's the kit All right now velvets All right so okay so I'll show you these pieces first so this is a piece that you can cut bits off you know like there's a piece there you could cut that off you could just shape that into something and it's really nice cotton piece of um embroidery it's done by a machine though I don't, it's not actually done by a person, but there's bit, you can cut it into different pieces, you know, so that's that piece. You get a piece of this, which will not be exactly the same as this. The other one is actually a demis piece, and it's got a florally pattern on it, which is not actually a different colour, it's in the, in the piece of fabric. And that's behind me across there, and I can't reach that at the moment. But anyway, you will get a piece of that, so you can use for your background. So you can cut that to whatever size you want. It is 10 by 10 now at the moment, I think. Yes, so if you want to do the whole thing. You will have enough here to make more than one crazy patch. patch. Okay, and maybe you could make yourself a needle book. Maybe you could put, put, do the front part for a journal cover. You know, the front panel piece. There's lots of ideas anyway. So... I've ironed these, I promise I have. It was a very tedious thing. I've only got three of these kits. So, um, you know, whoever gets in first gets them, I guess. <laughs> There's only three. Now, this is a very old piece of velvet, very old piece, and actually, so clean, of course, of course, and, and ironed, look, I've ironed it. You can tell by the top, you know, because the mat, the, 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 what's the name on it? <laughs> the mat. <sighs> You know that, that <laughs> I know what that is. It's fair there, fair on the tip of my tongue, and I know what it's called. <laughs> anyway, it goes different ways if you if you move your hand across it or iron it back a different way. It makes different pattern pile the pile on it, you know. But anyway, so there's that piece. Now it's not large, but that'd be the smallest bit in the packet. Now that one might be the only one in here of that piece. Like, I've got three kits, and I could only get so much from what I had. So, that one there may be in one or two of them, but not maybe not in three. I don't know, but they'll be green. Now, this one here is a faux velvet. It's fake, but it's nice, and it will go just perfectly fine in your work. Um, have I got any on mine? Not this one here I haven't, but I have... I do have it on others. It has a little stretch to it, so you just be, you're going to be putting it onto this background, so it'll be fine, okay? It'll be fine. Just try not to stretch it out of place. This is another nice piece of real velvet, okay? Covered in fluff, and I can't help that. I have defluffed them and ironed them. The more you sort of try to do the worst, <laughs> I, just, I just got a bit um. I've had enough of that anyway, so that's that one that goes in there. There's this one. This is a real piece of real velvet as well. They're not very piled, like a not, not very big pile. So is this one. It's more, probably a bit more modern. It's not as not as flash. It doesn't stretch or anything, so that's a nice piece. It's a bit bigger. It's about six by six, that piece. There's a little piece of this one. Now, maybe there's not all that in every one of them because I use a lot of... That's actually a green. It looks pale. It's a really dark bottle green there. 
anyway well, it's, it's just a different colour on the camera that's a really good old piece too you can tell by the the, the backs of them too and the look at that that blue isn't that gorgeous is that bit and this is old as me my, my, my older so and it's got little little bubbly piles of stuff on the back of it as well but that's all free you know that comes with it so that's nice beautiful isn't it and this one this one's got a really high pile on it and I love love working with that one this is another piece of nice velvet they're mostly good quality some of them are just you know second this one is a second hand piece it's a second hand piece of velvet but it, and it has a little stretch to it so you just be careful okay when you're stitching it you just pin it down and just put a and look at this it's just covered in bits beautiful color isn't it that's a really nice one this one here's a faux one you know and it's, and it's stretchy but you need your colors you want your colors in there this one here is absolutely beautiful I, it come off a scarf i know <laughs> isn't it nice some of them cut out really snazzy but it took me a while to do this and i've only got three kids i think there's only 15 pieces in each one of fabric okay and that's a faux one as well but you need these for your you know your different different colors now you won't need to put all them colors onto one piece so you'll have some spare I don't know how many I've got um, this has got a pinky piece well that's a sort of a pinky piece. and so is that this is not velvet this is corduroy so if you've got any of that you can just add yours to it you know these are to help you anyway you can just put these together and that will make as many colors as you want you can I, I try to put at least two well look I got th four of that color see there's four of that color there um, the green ones I've got two of them two of the yellow three of these ones you probably need and two of those you probably need more than one of each color as cut you know you cut these into pieces and you can get yourself something you know nice with that so that's that bit of it um, I want to sit there somewhere where I don't have to wind them again I hope and then you'll get these pieces here so I, like I said I can't put any um, uh, just well, when you when you message me if you want one just let me know if you'd like some beads because I don't know if I can do much I might be able to do some beads and some cottons with them I'll see but you just let me know if you need them sort of things okay so there's these bits now they can be put on there and put um, I'm sure I've got this this one here I've got a bit on these are um, appliques see you got your appliques on, so that's that one. You got appliques and put on. You can cut them, cut them in half, cut them out in single bits. You know whatever you want to do with them. There's a piece of this here. They can go along where your seams are. Put that along where your seams are. If I got any of that sort of thing happening on these, don't know, but have done in the past. So we'll show you. Okay. There'll be this piece here. There'll be another piece there bit of probably faux velvet burgundy ribbon well see these can go anywhere on your piece um, don't know that I've actually done a lot of different places on this but ones I've done in the past and I can't show you any yet I don't think let me see because I put it put them away and then they get lost to me don't they I'll just have to um, you know use this for putting across there and then putting your cross stitch on it you know or whatever and same with that you know you can put it on your your joints and then put your sewing oops <laughs> put your sewing in, in around it and what have you but that's what you can do with that I will still be doing these crazy patchwork ones I might start from the beginning on one to show you but I have got some I have got a link of the first few ones I did on one of them so you can see how I put it together everybody like a lot of people are different some people have got a, a set rules how they just start there from the middle so this is a piece of doily and you can cut that out now there's three different things I think and it's in the doily part so there's a tiny bit of ribbon here that you could make a couple of little flowers out of if you if you um, cut that in half I'd say you've got enough if you gather it up to make some little flowers um, that this piece of yellow now I'm sorry about the there's a non-disclosure on this where the where the piece of stuff was wrapped around it to hold it together it made a little dent and then there's that one there there's a velvety looking and they still will be you know you can do a nice stitch across that 
cross stitch or a herringbone stitch. I've got a piece of rick rack, yellowy colour. I thought I'd put more in than that. I'll have to check on that. I've got this piece here that is really cool and you can just use that as to go over your to go over your um, joints too if you wanted to. You know, you put it down like in like that and then you can stitch put some beads around in it or you know just stitch it down. It's got a good size piece of that there. And this piece here, the diamond. Now you can cut this with a um, pliers or an old pair of scissors or you can just use a little bit, make a little row of it, cut that and then stitch it down onto your piece and so that you have a little bit of bling. And then we've got these little these buttons. Now some of these might be a little bit big but it's up to you whether you use them or not. There's just a few that I picked out this morning, you know, just in case you haven't got a button because and then you can use a button for, you know, to put on it somewhere. So that's that. That's the kit, right? That is the kit. Now, these are going to be... I don't know, because I feel, I feel like I need to charge less because there's more for shipping, but how about we... how about I put... $35 on it and that'll be free shipping to Australia <laughs> until I find out how the American one will, what the American one will cost me $35 and I'll have free shipping to Australia if you're in Australia I'll ship it to you for, for free just to $35 but if you're in America and it costs me a lot more or anywhere else in the UK I might have to charge you a little bit more you know um, maybe $5 more maybe We'll see how we go, eh? Because um, it probably cost me. So I'm going to send them in a nice padded bag. So that, that's you know, you got to think about your. Um, anyway, I hope that's all right. I hope you don't think that's too much. It's a lot of um, a lot of work. And anyhow, we haven't finished yet because there's going to be a giveaway with this. For everybody that puts a comment, you won't all get one, I'm sorry. <laughs> For all the people that put a comment on my video, is going to go into a drawer and you'll receive this book. It is absolutely amazing. It is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's got all the stitches and it, I'm going to give that to one of you lucky people. Um, if you want to put your name down, comment, just please leave a comment and say you want to go in. Well, I'd say a majority of you might want to go in, somebody might not, but if you did go get it, you could um, give it to somebody that does stitch if you don't. This is a beautiful book. I have, I think, three or four of these because I picked them up really for next to nothing because. I believe when I first got mine, I paid forty dollars for it. So, um, and it's a little tiny bit heavy. This is going to cost me a little bit for the postage, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. I want to give that to someone who, well, will win that. If you've, but you'd have to have watched all that video, wouldn't you, to go into this? Because <laughs> I'm not going to say this is. On here. I'm just going to say, here's me kits, you know, and if you. <laughs> And it's got nothing to do with who purchases the kits or whatever. It's everybody who leaves me a comment and puts a like. Please be a subscriber. Please be a subscriber. I will have to go and see if you subscribe because I don't want you just to come on there just to um, subscribe and then go away. That wouldn't be very nice, eh? It's one of my subscribers I'd like to win it. And um, anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've liked the kit. I'm actually going to put up another one for a slow stitching um, thing. I don't know whether I've got it. I might give another book away. I'll see how I go. And I don't know if I can put that up today because I've gone past my time <laughs> as far as being in here and doing stuff. Um, so I've got the slow stitching one ready. Oh, I've got to design it. <laughs> But I have got lots of nice vintage, a lot of vintage fabric is in this. Um, I don't know how many pieces I've got. 
I'll probably get, look, this is just a quick preview. You know, there's vintage and there's one new bit. But there's a lot of vintage fabric in this. So I'm going to put the video up for this probably tomorrow. And the pieces that go with that. And then just can have a look at them. And I think I've got four of those ready. So I've been a bit busy. You know, it takes a lot. And I have got so much more that I could put in here. It's just incredible. So I'll be putting them up. Um, I think I might... No, I'm going to put this one up today because I don't want to get them all confused. And then when I sort that one out, I'll get put the next one up. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll be back after it to um, show you a bit more stitching and a bit more whatever we're doing. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.